Welcome back to PSN News. I'm Isabel Hulse, and with me tonight is Nick Sibley, the president of the men's club basketball team. Thank you so much for coming in tonight, Nick. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. Of course. So you can first start off um, just by telling us about yourself. Well, I'm a senior finance major, and I'm from Sterling, Virginia, and I've been on the club basketball team for four years now. Awesome. So how did you first get involved with the team? Um, well, in high school, I played sports all my life, so I really wanted something that I could keep find a way to keep playing sports in college, and I know it's harder to do, but um, just playing basketball at the intramural building and met some of the older guys and thought it was a great opportunity and went for it. So how did you first um, know you wanted to become the president of the club? Um, well, as a freshman, it's difficult for everyone. I, I, it was a culture shock for me, so being here, it was crazy, and um, I, I was lucky to have three great presidents before me, and I just thought that um, I want to do the same thing for the younger guys and go after the same opportunity. So also, how do you manage being a student, your personal life, and basketball? It's hard. It's definitely been a challenge, but um, I'd rather be busy than doing nothing. So I think it just makes me more well-rounded, and um, I enjoy it. So I have no complaints. So what does your schedule look like from like a week-to-week -week basis? For basketball, we have two practices a week, Monday and Wednesday. And then once the travel season picks up, which is usually more in the spring semester, we'll have a, a separate one for the travel guys on Thursday. Who would you say your biggest rival is? Well, I grew up not liking Michigan or Ohio State, mm -hmm. and it's a little different for club basketball, but um, anyone local, like we don't like Pitt, I guess, uh, Robert Morris, and um, James Madison's got the better of us the past two years, so I would say I really don't like them, but it just depends on the year. So how would you say the tryout process looks like? It was really competitive this year. I mean. I think 250 guys tried out for 12 or 13 spots, so it, it was difficult to choose um, which kids made the team, but I have a great group of guys around me that helped me decide, so it was good. So are you not like the only one who decides? You guys have like a couple pre uh, vice presidents, mm -hmm. coaches? Yeah, we have an exec board, which is vice president, um, treasurer, and secretary, and then we also have a THON chair who handles all of our THON opportunities, obviously. Cool. So can you tell me a little bit about THON and what you guys do? Yeah, so just like any other club, we um, have our own section in um, BJC during THON, and it's something that's really important to our club. Um, I've been all the past three years, but I haven't got the opportunity to dance. But we have a great group of guys that are dancing this year, so I'll hopefully be down there cheering them on the entire time. But we fundraise the entire year for it, different events, um, such as we just did a 3v3 basketball tournament last week, which was really fun. and. Um, hopefully do stuff like that for throughout the year. That's so cool. So over the past four years, what would you say your favorite memory has been? Um, that's a great question. I think just being around the guys, traveling around when we went to nationals last year, we're just like staying in the hotel with everyone and just like being able to just like hang out and just like be friends was probably my favorite. Cool. So how did nationals go? Did you guys it was the, have a good run? <laughs> we did, did have a good run. It was a lot of fun, but um, we lost in the final four two years in a row now. So little sour taste in our mouth, but really excited to hopefully get back there and win it all this year. Cool. Um, so I know that the season's kind of getting into play. What do you think like your biggest goals are? Um, I think the number one biggest goal is national championship, mm -hmm. obviously. So we're always chasing that and um, just trying to keep that in the back of our minds during practice. And then my personal goal, like I said earlier, I was, I had the great opportunity to be around some great presidents and um, really changed my college like atmosphere being on the club basketball team. So I just hope I can be that same role model for all the younger guys and hope they have a great experience. Do any of the past presidents ever come back to practices or games that you guys on? Yes, of course, which is I'm very thankful for. It was a great group of guys. So they always come back for um, like football weekends and they'll come to practices and hang out with us or they were at nationals last year. So hopefully we can get it back for an alumni game or something fun like that. That's awesome. So do you have any advice for any new students that want to join the club or how, mm -hmm. like do you have any advice for them going into tryouts um it's difficult a lot of the guys have been playing their entire life so i guess just be yourself and it's only a couple tryouts so that you're not going to change things too much as long as you just go out and have fun and um we're not looking for guys that just want to shoot the ball a hundred times but people mm -hmm. that like just want to be there and have fun and really enjoy the game awesome well thank you so much for coming in tonight nick and telling us more about club basketball now stick around because coming up next, Nolan and Grace will have the latest news from across the nation.